Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I want to go to the Abyss to get ready for the Slime God because there are supposed to be some pretty good rogue weapons there. Uh, that's really all I wanted to do in the video. I'll probably end up doing something else just because that's probably not going to take that long, but I'm not quite sure what that is yet, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's actually go over to the Abyss. I have my Shadow Key, I have a Beach Teleportation Potion that can instantly teleport me there, and I also have a potion that reduces the effects of the Sulfuric Waters. So let's head over there, and um, I'm just going to dive right in. As you can see, I am taking damage, but the potion does help with that. Um, it is going to take me a little while to go down there, so I'm just going to cut the video, and I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm down in the abyss now, and um, I did find my first chest here, so let's see what I got. Um, I got this strange orb that summons a miniature ocean spirit light pet. Okay, that's actually my first light pet, I believe. That's cool. And nothing else. I'll just take it all just to, uh, just because why not? I don't, I have plenty of inventory space right now. Um, I'm also getting abyssal treasures. Uh, right click to open. I guess, I'm guessing they're like chests kind of. But, um, it does actually seem like there's a pretty decent amount of things here. Now, this lets me fall faster in liquids. That's not really useful for me right now, but, uh, that doesn't mean it won't be later. It actually looks like there's a lot of chests around here, so that's good. Should be pretty easy to actually get the loot. Uh, that does a lot of magic damage. Let's actually test that out. Uh, where to go? I mean, it doesn't have very much range, but I think this is pretty good. I mean, I'm not a mage, so I'm not going to use it, but... If I was a mage, I think it would be good. Okay, so I was doing more looting, and I did actually find the Lionfish, which is a pretty good rogue weapon. If I um, did my research correctly. Okay, so let's actually test out the lionfish. Um, as you can see, I have one dummy here. It is currently covered by lionfish. But um, it, it's actually my highest damage doing weapon that I have now. As you can see, if I throw some lionfish down, they do continually do damage, kind of like a poison effect. And obviously they do contact damage as well. I can get almost 200 DPS if all the lionfish are attached on. I do sometimes go over 200 as well, so uh, this is probably going to be my main slime god weapon unless there's a better rogue weapon that I haven't found out about yet. Okay everyone, so let's actually fight the slime god now. As you can see, I built probably the largest arena I ever have before, so uh, I don't think we're going to run out of any arena space whatsoever, so let's just start the fight. Boom. I did reforge the lionfish as well. So that I'm doing another about 100 more DPS than I was before. Let's see, I don't really kn know this boss at all. I think I've seen one video on him before, and I honestly don't even remember it. Okay, it doesn't seem too difficult. At least right now. It does seem like it rains down something from the sky every so often. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, okay. There's four of them. There's two red ones and two purple, I guess. Blue. Yeah, they're purple. What are those things in the sky? I can't damage them. I think they're just kind of there to be obstacles. You see, their health bars look low. But the actual main health bar in the bottom of my screen says otherwise. Doesn't look like these guys can teleport to me either. What is that? What is that little thing attacking me? I don't really know what's going on. Usually I have like a boss cursor that points in the direction of the boss. Is it on my screen somewhere? I just can't see it. Wait, is the slime god that little thing attacking me? I think it is. I think the slime god's that little thing attacking me. Oh shoot. Okay. I think the slime god was just all of the slimes at once. I don't really know what happened. But, um, I can't use the paper tube still. I think I might have unlocked every pre-hardened accessory or something like that. 
Alright, favorite this item to become slimed and be able to slide around on tiles at the cost of reduced defense. That's pretty bad. I think the purified gel is the main thing that I need because I'm pretty sure you can get better armor with this stuff. Alright, well let's actually fight another one. I have two more summons here. I'm probably just going to spawn another one and then I'll do the rest off camera. Yeah, but this boss fight was pretty easy. I think I am a little over prepared if I had to guess. No, I actually think I'm fighting it at about the time that I'm supposed to be fighting it at because I just defeated Skeletron in the hive mind, so. So I think this boss is just easy. I'm guessing this arena also helps a lot. Most people probably don't come this prepared with the arena. I think as far as my character goes, I think I am pretty overpowered. Not over overpowered in like a, you know, I'm in the wrong stage of the game way, but in a I'm maxed out for this stage of the game way. Alright, so it's getting to the point where just a lot of random mobs around mobs, enemies. I'm gonna try to correct myself and stop calling the mobs to get out of my Minecraft ways. Because I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber anymore. I'm a Terraria YouTuber. Actually brings me to something I wanted to talk about. I did actually completely rebrand my channel for Terraria. So don't expect any Minecraft content, at least anytime soon. This guy is really messing me up. Okay, there's another one down, and I'll just open this off camera just because my inventory is full. Okay, so I beat the other three bosses, or actually the other two. I only had two more summons after I beat the second boss on camera, and all I really got were these two summons. I think they're identical, just like different sprites. Then this little tome here, as you can see, it's actually pretty good, but I'm not a mage, so I'm not going to be using it. There's also this tome, same applies. There's the mana polarizer, which isn't very good, I'm not even going to read it. At least for me, because I'm not a mage. And to actually get the other stuff, I need to craft the static refiner, which is crafted with the solidifier and five purified gel. So let's actually craft that, then place it down right here, and we'll see what I can make. Now I think this is where I craft the ar armor. I don't actually see the armor, so I'm going to have to Let's actually use the recipe browser here. Uh, where the purified gel? There it is. Okay. What do I need? I need hellstone and purified gel to actually craft the armor set for this. So, um, let me, I'll get some hellstone and then I'll check in. Okay, so I got the hellstone, so let's actually craft this armor. We got the chest piece the pants and then we want the rogue which i believe is the mask yes boom all right so our defense is 32 right now and when i equip it it goes up to 39 so a, a decent boost now let's actually see the set bonus when you take over 100 damage one hit you become immune to damage for an extended period of time grants an extra jump and increased jump height 30 percent increased jump speed Rogue stealth builds while not attacking and slower while moving. I don't even, I barely understood that, but I think I know what it's saying. Okay. Rogue stealth only reduces when you attack. It does not reduce while moving. That's pretty much the only noteworthy thing that's worth reading besides the increased rogue damage. And 34% not to consume rogue items. So let's actually do a damage test. I don't... Oh. Wait, did I do a... Oh, I have a little double jump with this um, Satagel armor. Yeah, so let's do a damage comparison. Oh, let's actually hit the dummy. Eh, I mean... It's definitely a, definitely a boost in damage. And the movement speed has increased a lot, which is really nice. So I think this is the best armor in pre-hard mode now. 
which is really exciting because that means I'm ready for the Wall of Flesh fight. I can't believe I'm already at the Wall of Flesh. Like, I'm almost in hard mode now. I think there is definitely some stuff that I want to do before hard mode, though. I did disable corruption and crimson spreading, so um, that's not a worry for me. But maybe, you know, get more established, build a better base, actually build a storage system, stuff like that. So the number one goal on my priority list is to actually get ready for hard mode now. So the first thing I'm going to do for that is to build a better base. Now this base is going to have NPC housing, storage, crafting stations, and really just whatever else I can think of. So enjoy the building time lapse.
Okay, so that's all for the building time lapse for now. Um, I'm probably going to do the rest off camera or in a future time lapse. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Calamity Let's Play. Bye, everyone!